there is fresh seafood and there is Korean fresh seafood. Well, you can feel that squirming around in your chopsticks. I'm gonna dip it into this red sauce. All right. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Jeju, South Korea. We're going on another day trip today somewhere on the West Coast. We are driving to a place called Buan, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from Jeonju, the center of Jeonju. And it is a very rainy, cloudy day. We're gonna be on the coast again, on the ocean today. Still very gray and drizzling, but we have just arrived to the Samegum Information Center. There's a huge project that's happening now where they are filling in ocean and making it land. And this is an umbrella bag dispenser. Oh, how convenient is that? You can't see very well today because it's rainy, but this is the sea bank going right down with the road built on top of it. And to the left is the actual sea and to the right is where the sea is that they're filling in. They're, they're gonna fill in all of all this of with this land. Is, yeah. Okay, yeah. and then that's gonna be for, for all sorts of area. industrial and, and entertainment, the tourist, entertainment, tourism, tourism and agricultural uh, development area. So we're right here, here. we're looking out at the road, yeah, right. right here. You can, when you go to Gunsan. And Gunsan is up here. We just arrived at Buan Silkworm Town and I think this is a full museum about the silk process and the importance of silk in Korea that we're going to check out. Thank you. What is it? <laughs> I've got a silkworm and a silk cocoon in my hand right now. <laughs> where are you from? Uh, I am from Thailand. Thailand? Yes, where are you from? Korea! Are you from... Are you from... Buan? Are you from Jeonju? Are you from Jeonju? Oh, from Gunsan. Oh, from Gunsan. Okay. Jinpo. Oh, okay. Jinpo school. Okay. What what school do you go to? You want to hold the the silkworm? You want to hold it? <laughs> this is a very popular museum with Korean students. Nice to hang out with some very friendly students. We drove out to the tip at the very end of the Buan Peninsula. We're right on the ocean and this place is very famous for seafood, especially shellfish and octopus. Tablecloth is always a good sign of a, a good and messy meal to come. The main dish that we're eating here is a rice, kind of like a congee porridge with shellfish in it. You can see rice in there, there are some carrots, and I think all of that is toasted sesame seeds. Maybe some leek in here, and then I think there are lots of pieces. Oh yeah, there's lots of pieces of shellfish diced up in here as well. Oh, this looks warm and comforting. Actually, this is perfect for a cold, rainy day like it is today. Mmm. That's sticky, and it has a really wonderful, like, roasted... Maybe that's from the sesame seeds? But it kind of tastes like the the bottom of the rice cooker, that mm. that like slightly burnt edge. There is fresh seafood and there is Korean fresh seafood. 
And one thing we just ordered is live octopus, which is just chopped up into bite-sized pieces. It is squirming on the plate. And I think there's only sesame oil and sesame seeds dressed on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Amazing. It's sticky. Tree. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> oh wow. You can well, you can feel that squirming around in your chopsticks. I'm gonna dip it into this red sauce. Alright. Oh wow. It's sticky and chewy. And you can feel those little suction cups kind of clinging to your your lip and your tongue sometimes. Mmm. That is as fresh as, as it gets. It has quite a slimy texture because it's raw octopus, but what really you can taste is just that sesame oil and just that that wonderful fragrance from the toasted sesame oil. That is very interesting food that you can not only taste, but you can feel. Follow with a bite of, this is some kind of an algae or seaweed salad. Oh. Oh yeah. That's good. A little bit oily. Maybe either sesame oil or soybean oil. And then it has a really nice, fresh, crisp flavor to it. We finished with lunch and we are now taking a walk out along the coast. That was undoubtedly some very fresh octopus that we ate and that is a real Korean delicacy. We drove for about 15 minutes and we are at the Ne So Sa Temple. It's gonna be a little hike and the weather, I thought it was starting to clear, but the weather has started drizzling again. It's looking kind of rainy. You can just breathe in. I can smell that fresh air and that pine tree aroma. We made it to the main temple, and part of what's so beautiful about this place is the natural environment. It's so green right now, and it's just lightly misting, but I'm loving the trees, the mist on the mountains. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful environment. A little village called Gomso that is famous for dried, I'm not sure, some kind of dried fermented fish and preserved fish. So we're gonna go to the market now and take a look. Whoa, lots and lots of dried fish. I was just given a sample of this is octopus, preserved octopus, salted and chili. Oh yeah, that's like octopus kimchi. Mm. That's really good and just a little bit chewy. There are so many wonderful seafood markets in Korea and what I love about this one is that it's right, literally right on the ocean. I'm like 10 steps away from the ocean. Seriously though, if you're a seafood lover, Man, Korea has such an abundance of fresh, wonderful things from the sea to eat. When I come to a seafood market like this, I see new different seafoods that I've never seen before all the time. This thing that I'm looking at right now in this tub, it looks kind of like a floating squid rhinoceros.
We just drove back to Chunchu and we are having dinner at this restaurant which serves ginseng chicken soup. Okay. Yesterday we went to a red ginseng spa and tonight for dinner we are back in Chunchu and we are having a dish called Samge Tang, which is chicken ginseng soup. She just brought out the banchan side dishes. The kimchi in particular looks really good. Uh, it is the fresh type, so it's not fermented. You can see how crisp it is and topped with sesame seeds. And we're starting off with some ginseng wine. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's very nice. You can really taste that bitter ginseng root in there. Mmm. Before the chicken ginseng soup arrives, I gotta try that kimchi. All of those sesame seeds on there. Oh yeah, very fresh. So it's almost more like a, a salad rather than a pickled vegetable. It's wonderful. Is there rice inside of the chicken yeah, also? Yeah. I just can't get over how good the food is that is served piping hot like this and I love how it stays hot for your entire meal. This is actually a full chicken within this bowl, but it's a spring chicken, a baby young chicken. And then there are some jojobe. These, um, you can, it, it kind of has a, a fruity aroma to it. There are leeks, chopped up leeks in here. And then the chicken soup with ginseng and then I think, I believe, let me try to turn this chicken over. Yeah, now you can see the whole chicken and the drumsticks. And within the, stuffed within the chicken is rice and maybe some herbs and spices. Oh yeah, you can see. Oh, that chicken just falls apart. That whole leg just fell right off. And yeah, that's the rice. So this is a whole meal in one with everything, chicken, rice, and soup. Okay, I just have to, I just have to eat that drumstick first since it conveniently slipped right off. Oh, it's so tender. Oh, the bone just fell out <laughs> without the meat. Oh, it's so tender. I have to eat this drumstick fast before the before the meat just slides right off. A quick dip in a, a little bit of the so salt. Wow. That is amazing. It is so flavorful chicken. Oh, the meat is so buttery. Wow. That's incredibly delicious. And it has a unique, like earthy, earthy aroma to it, earthy taste. Maybe from that ginseng. All of the meat just literally slips off the bone, including cartilage and all those random bits just comes off and you just left with completely clean bones. But what I really loved about that chicken is that it's it's really extraordinarily soft and tender, but it's not mushy at all. Instead, it's buttery. That broth, this chicken is so tender, you can actually literally just eat the entire thing with a spoon. Let me reach in for some of this rice. And also, I think that right there, is a little strip of the ginseng. I'm gonna cool off this bite. Even when you think you have cooled off a bite, it is still piping hot. Mm. It's not spicy, but really juicy and crisp, almost like a bell pepper, but more crisp. Let me taste one of these, the jujube. Mmm. Oh, there's a little pit in it. Oh, that's really good. That's like a, it, it tastes like a date, but not as sweet and fall apart tender, not as condensed. That chicken soup has literally just warmed me all the way into my core. I'm actually sweating after eating that dish. That was fantastic. I don't think I have ever cleaned the bones of an entire chicken so easily and so well. All the meat, skin, cartilage, joints, 
everything. That was a fantastic way to end the day. We're gonna head back to the hotel from here. So I'm gonna end the video now. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below. And also make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And I will see you on the next video. Whole one, right? Yes, the whole chicken. Thank you, Ying, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you make a wish though? Yes. <laughs> what? Chino and I are gonna do a traditional Korean seesaw teeter totter. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs>